How many times have you heard someone say, or how many times have you said, God just doesn't do that anymore? We say that God doesn't heal people anymore because we have modern science, or that God doesn't fill people with his spirit because that was for the early church, or that God doesn't speak to people anymore because we have the Bible to read. We have spent so much time thinking up things that God won't do. And yet we wonder why we see no power at work in the church. But the power is not gonna be there if God is not there. And why do we expect him to show up if we created beings are telling him what he can and cannot do? Do you know why we limit God? Because we wanna limit the effect that he can have on our lives. We wanna give him our hearts, but we don't wanna lose our time, energy, money, and ultimately our lives for his name's sake. We want enough of God to make us comfortable, but not enough to make us usable in his kingdom. Salvation is the first step, but we have a generation of church-going saints who are wondering, is this all there is? And feeling like they were made for more because we have made salvation the end goal when it was never meant to be that. It's like an escalator in that as long as you are saved or take the first step, you eventually reach heaven. But the more steps you take, the sooner you get to the next level. And in this case, the sooner you're able to bring heaven down to earth and make an eternal impact on those around you. I'm talking about walking so close to God that when you touch someone, it's like God has touched them. And when you speak to someone, it's as if God is speaking to them. But we're never going to reach that point if we don't let God be God and we be the vessels. In John 14, 12, Jesus says, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to the Father. You want to live a life that's filled with power? Ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit and seek him with your whole heart because there's not gonna be any power apart from him. You wanna do what Jesus was doing? You can only do that if he is living inside of you and working through you. And he sent his Holy Spirit to fulfill that role in us, to fill us with power. Stop telling God what he can and cannot do and let him do what he wants to in you.